And good Monday morning to you. Welcome back to Morning Musings. My name is Don K. Preston. I am the president of Preterist Research Institute of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Hope you had a great weekend. <coughs> Man, allergies are raging this morning. Anywho, uh, once again, it's great to have you back. I'm sharing with you some thoughts on uh, the defeat of Satan. One of the biggest issues and objections to covenant eschatology is the idea that at the Lord's coming, <clears throat> according to Revelation chapter 20, Satan would be destroyed, cast into the lake. And people say, well, <laughs> that obviously hasn't happened. Just look around. I'm currently having a written debate with a man by the name of Olin Hicks. Almost his entire argumentation is, just look around. The graveyards are still full. Everything continues. You know, the world hasn't been burned up, etc., etc. Well, the problem with that is we're looking at the promises of God and the defeat of Satan through the wrong set of eyes. And we're not looking at it in the way that God looks at things as specifically defined in Scripture. Now, remember... I've shared with you in the previous segments that there is a one-to-one -one comparison between the establishment of the kingdom and the defeat of Satan. Jesus said, I came to destroy, or John says, Christ came to destroy the works of the devil. 1 John 3, 8 and 9. Hebrews says, that Christ came, that through death he might destroy him who has the power of death, that is the devil. Jesus said, now is the judgment of this world. Now will the ruler of this world be cast out. You know, those statements are very, very emphatic. So it raises the question, if Christ came to set in motion the defeat and destruction of Satan, did he fail? Now remember, there's a one-to-one -one perfect correspondence and correlation between defeat of Satan and the kingdom. Matthew chapter 12, Jesus said, and, and the parallel in Luke is just almost funny, Luke chapter 11, Jesus said, if I by the finger of God cast out demons, then surely the kingdom of heaven has come upon you. Now, what Jesus was saying basically is, if I by the power of my little Twinkie here cast out demons, then surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. Do you see that correlation? It's critical to see the correlation. Here's the initiation of Jesus' work. The initiation of Jesus' work is the casting out of demons to express <coughs> the arrival of the kingdom. Well, the arrival of the kingdom is therefore the final destruction of Satan, the final destruction of his demons. Now, once again, I ask this question. Did Christ fail? My premillennial friends say, well, Jesus came to establish the kingdom, but due to Jewish unbelief, he was unable to do it. Therefore, God postponed the kingdom and established the church, which was unpredicted, unknown, unforetold anywhere in the Old Testament. Okay. Did Jesus fail to do what he came to do? Well, let's see what the Old Testament says. In Psalms chapter 2, and by the way, in my book, 70 Weeks Are Determined for the Resurrection, I have an extensive development of what I'm sharing with you in brief summary this morning, okay? 70 Weeks Are Determined for the Resurrection. Go to my website, www.eschatology.org or www.bibleprophecy.com. Order the book. Say that you saw the offer on YouTube. I'll refund shipping. Okay, Psalms chapter 2. Why did the heathen rage? <coughs> Pardon me. Why did the heathen rage? The kings of the earth set themselves in array. Why do they say, let us cast his bonds from us? 
here is God's prediction that man, i.e. the Jews, would reject the kingdom. They would attempt to thwart God's kingdom plan. What would be God's response to that? Well, Psalms chapter 2 says, The one who sits in the heavens will laugh. He will hold them in derision. And he will say, Yet, yet, have I set my king on my holy hill Zion. Do you catch the power of that? In spite of man's rejection of Messiah, God, God's kingdom plan, the defeat of Satan, would not be thwarted. Wow, that's impressive. Wow, that's incredible. And Peter, in Acts chapter 4, 11 and following, directly quotes, cites, and alludes to Psalms chapter 2 to speak of Christ's victory in his resurrection. So, Christ came to set in motion the defeat of Satan, i.e., the establishment of the kingdom. And God said, although man would do his best to thwart, man would reject the offer, man would seek to thwart God's plan of establishing the kingdom, i.e., defeating Satan. God would laugh at man's efforts. Folks, that's good news. It's wonderful news. We'll have more on whether or not Christ came to defeat Satan, but he couldn't do it in our next segments. Don't forget, get the book, 70 Weeks Are Determined for the Resurrection. Go to my website, www.eschatology.org, www.bibleprophecy.com. Look, this is not just a theological exercise. This is wonderful news. Get a copy of your book today. Mention that you saw the offer on YouTube, and I'll refund the shipping. Thanks for joining me here on Mon Morning Musings on this great Monday morning, in spite of the allergies. We'll see you on the flip side.